Good morning guys, how's it going? Alright, today it has been raining, pouring rain. Good portion of the whole night, all morning long. It's about 7.30, it just now stopped. And it still is raining right now. It's, everything's just sopping wet. But where I'm getting at is, at 2.10 this morning, we had uh, rains coming, and start walking. We had a massive thunderstorm come through. Uh, rumbling was going on. I had my eyes kind of open, and uh, I must have timed it just right. Lightning hit. I don't know where, but it was so the whole room lit up. It was instant, and uh, we. I thought we lost power. And what I'm saying is, is my wife got up and uh, she said the vacuum was going off vacuuming the house, which was funny. The robot vacuum. But, so we all thought our fit ceiling fans weren't working. Nothing was working. But one light was on um, at the house. And that was like the, uh, uh, the, we always leave the um, microwave light on. Here comes the rain. Checking everybody out. They all look okay, I need to feed them. Let me go in with the goats. Chair blew over. Pigs are all in their homes. This wasn't supposed to go. All right, I'm moving with the goats, so I don't get wet. Anyway, <coughs> um, only one light worked on the house that I knew of. Wait, and actually, we thought it was a. Yeah, so now I'm stuck out here. Can't feed no animals. I'm in with the goats. But... I hope this is a fast rain. <laughs> I looked at the weather before I came out here and the cloud had passed us so it was safe. This is what it's been doing all morning long. Look at the water run off the chicken coop roof. And it won't focus in. The goats are all in here. Where's one? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there, they need hay. I haven't fed none of the animals. It's been pouring rain, thundering. Come on, end. I do have. I do have the swamp cooler disconnected. It's plugged into here, but it's disconnected, so electrically it won't even be affected. Rain is stopping, I hope. But. All right, it quit raining a little bit. Push that back through. Look at their pond up there. <laughs> it's flooded. Sig's got to be in his house. I don't see damage of any trees, of anything that got cooked, hit with lightning. All right. I fed the animals. It stopped raining a little bit. I put my camera 
on the tractor to try to keep it somewhat dry. I don't see anything damaged or burnt. It all looks good. All right, let's go look over here. And I'll talk over here. And maybe I'll start my story over again. Let's see if we got anything back here. Everything looks good. I think if the house was hit, I'd seen sign of it. Let's look at my chimney. That's still there. All right. All right, the rain's picking back up again. But let me go over here where it's, you can get see me. Okay, we'll start this over again. It's about um, 210. Just before that, um, <coughs> we heard some, you know, thunder going on, seen the lightning. I'm kind of used to it, been getting a lot of that lately. But then um, I, my eyes were just barely open, and I, I sleep, my side of the bed is right by the window. And that lightning bolt hit, and it literally, I shut my eyes, it was like eye blinding. And then um, you can hear like the whole house shut down. You know, the, the, uh, all the lights shut down. Well, the uh, ceiling fan shut down. The alarm lights shut down. Um, our alarm uh, deal went off saying there's loss of power on battery backup. So we knew we had lost power is what we thought. And then uh, my wife had gotten up just for a second. And um, I said, hey, um, where's the power bill? So we can call them, let them know we're out of power. So try to get power back. By the time she gets up, this is her early week, so she's up at 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning. She's up, and then she kind of like gets startled and starts like, what the, in our vacuum, uh, robot vacuum, going through the house, and came on, and it startled her. So anyway, she shut it down, she put it back, rehoused it back, and I, my eyes is kind of open, open. And, I, and I'm seeing just the dim light in our kitchen. I'm not picking it up what that is at all. I'm, I'm still tired. So anyway, she jumps in bed and I said, Hey, uh, you, know, be, you know, if you're awake before your, your alarm goes off, wake me up. I got to get the generator out, get the house set up to run power if we don't, you know, so she can get ready for work. And uh, I'm talking to her and I actually dozed off and I noticed that light kind of like in the living room. Now, our kitchen area, and I was like, why is there a light on? I'm thinking something is in the house that has battery backed up. But I'm so tired, I don't get it. Finally, it was like around 3 o'clock, um, I feel cold air on me. And I'm like, I woke up, woke up and I'm like, what is that? And it, I'm realizing it's the air conditioner. I said, oh, our power's back on. So I woke her up and said, hey, power's back on. And I look up, though, but our ceiling fan's not lit. None of the alarm clocks are lit. Our alarm is still off. Well, it's on, but it's on battery backup. And I don't know still what's going on, so I got up and looked to see what the light was. I mean, how can we have power and everything's off? And uh, I realized the kitchen light, which is our light that we use when we go to bed, our uh, microwave light, is, um, is on. It never shut off, so we never lost power. So I went to my fuse panel to figure out what's going on and half of my breakers in my fuse panel were all popped. That's why. So we really didn't lose power but neither one of us put it together because we were so tired. So that lightning bolt, whatever it was, was very close where power surged the whole house. Uh, my neighbors didn't lose power and uh, so it, and I, I felt it was right, I swear it was right here. And I just don't see no damage. I don't see nothing as far as a fire was done. But it was stinking close, guys. I can tell you that. The uh, RV awning looks good. The chicken coop up here looks good. I thought about the tractor got hit. That all looks good. I don't see trees. The, all the coops up there. And 
before I started this, I did go feed all the animals before I came back. I just put the camera up and put it on the tractor seat so it wouldn't get wet. I just don't see damage to anything, but that was a heck of a lightning strike. That was, I'm telling you, it was so close. But here we are now, and uh, you know, everything seems to be working, everything comes on, computer runs, TV's on. Um, yeah, so we lost power, it popped the breakers in half, half the house. The, uh, I did check the uh, freezers, and one freezer runs off of a GFI. I know you're not supposed to do that, but what's what we got. And um, that one I had to reset, so luckily we caught that. But I don't know where it hit at. Thankfully, everything's good. I'm seeing the news this morning talk about a couple of houses caught fire because of lightning strikes. And, uh, you know, at first I was thinking that last night, but um, none of our alarms, smoke alarms and alarms didn't go off for fire. Um, it, all the systems all tied together as one. So, yeah. That's it, guys. That's our exciting deal for the this morning last night a little tired right now but all right we're gonna go this rain was supposed to have ended about an hour ago and it's still going although it's kind of looking a little sunny over there but that's where the storms are coming from that direction if I ever see anything here in the next couple of days I'll I'll do a brief little picture of it or whatever in my community page all right, guys, I'm going to go.